848, this is the Fan 590. Don Landry and Gord Stellick here. And an old pal of ours is leaving town. About time. Jody Vance joins us. Hey, Jodester, how you doing? I'm great, guys. Good morning. Can't believe you're leaving the hood. So Don mentioned this to me a little while ago, so I, I'm going to miss you. But I guess congratulations. Tell us about the, the new opportunity out there. Well, thank you. I'm going to miss you guys, too, first of all. It's, uh, it's a little bit bittersweet. I'm, I'm kind of surprised because, obviously, going home is, is huge. Um, heading back to Vancouver and going to go back to the radio roots and uh, be a part of something quite special. A, a new radio station is launching in Vancouver on June the 1st called Shore 104. And uh, they asked me to be a part of it, and they're moving me home, and my family is currently doing the Lotto 649 Happy Dance. So uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Obviously, you guys know uh, we have a, a 17-month-old son who is looking forward to getting to know his cousin, who's just a couple months younger, and the grandparents and all that. So really excited. Taking the great dog Fenway with you, or can someone adopt Fenway? It's, it's a great I, I dog. I think we're going to take him with us if that's all right. okay. I know a lot of people that want to adopt Fenway is all. You know what? Funny enough, we have had a couple of offers, not only on the dog, but the child as well. So I, <laughs> but I'm pretty firm on yeah. uh, wanting to take my boys with me, yes. So now what kind of station is Shore 104 going to be? It's a, in industry terms, a AAA station, so it's music driven, and uh, it's uh, basically I'm the target demo, uh, skewing women they say, but very very cool music, and it's a station that's a, a standalone. It's not a corporately owned station like the Fan Five Ninety. You have like lots of brother and sister stations, if you will. They're all owned by Rogers. This particular FM radio station is just the singular, and it's run by a bunch of people that you guys might know in uh, Bob Makowitz Sr., who was the program director at The Fan a million years ago, uh, but great broadcaster in his own right, and uh, his son, uh, Bob Jr., is involved. Michael Landsberg from TSN is, is involved. They were all part of uh, winning the license, if you will. Roy Hennessy, who's very well established in Vancouver and has yeah. spent a bunch of time here too, and Hennessy Bray uh, Productions. And these are guys who they just wanted to create their dream job situation because they want to keep working, and you know they're they're young and smart enough to do so, even you know in their fifties and sixties. And uh, they've just really set it up to have a great time doing radio. So it just sounds like a whole bunch of fun to me. You did a lot here in Toronto too, Jody. Um, what, what was your favorite time? Oh boy, there's a question. Uh, I'm pretty good at my job, Jody. I don't know if you, you knew that. <laughs> Well, I hadn't noticed until now because I'm <laughs> your butt at Scrabble, so I know you're not really good at Scrabble, but you're really good at, at this. Um, there are so many, um, obviously, having a, you know, an opportunity like working at Sportsnet. Uh, when Scott Moore first brought me out, I, I'd, I'd have to say probably my first ever uh, evening on the desk, Jamie Campbell and I just doing the Pacific Region show when I, I truly lived a dream that I, I couldn't have imagined uh, prior to that day. And uh, it was something special when Scott Moore was standing there. At, you know, it was 10.30 at night, and he was still in the studio uh, in support of what we were doing. And, and he just said, you know what, I brought you out here to be you, and I want you to be 100% you, and I'll support you. So push the envelope and be yourself and have a whole lot of fun, because that's what this is all about. And I've had a whole lot of fun, and it's all his fault. <laughs> Well, it's, it, as you mentioned, in the, in the sports vein, certainly had a whole lot of fun and uh, carved a niche for yourself. It sounds like this is going to be a different kind of challenge when you go back. It's it, it's less sports and, and more of a different road. It is a little bit less sports. I still will be doing uh, some sports and some news and, and that kind of thing. In, in you know, I'm, I'm sort of like the, uh, the information girl as well as uh, co-hosting a couple of programs and hosting a show. So there's a lot of stuff that, that's all going to be coming into fruition in the next little while as soon as we have a spot on the dial to call home. Uh, right now there's an oldie station on 104, so mm. <laughs> um, as of June 1st, it'll get a heck of a lot more contemporary. But you're right. Um, I still keep my, uh, my toe in the sports pool. I've got a couple of freelance things that are on the go, and uh, there might be a hockey team playing in the playoffs there right now. So I'm Yeah, for one more game. 
Yeah, one more at least. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got to root for those Canadian teams. Oh yeah, no, I am rooting. I am rooting for the Canucks. Okay. But there is something. There'd be something about a Detroit Chicago conference final too, wouldn't it? Oh, that could be pretty cool. That but be... uh, you and I need to discuss this BC Lions Argos thing because it just gets a little more heated. I'm. I have a feeling my phone's going to ring at three o'clock in the morning Pacific time every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the Argos can ever, you know, finally beat the BC Lions, which I don't think they've done since the Grey Cup in two thousand and four, although that was pretty sweet, well, Jody. You know what? Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, well, I, I was going to say, it's not like we're never going to talk to each other again, but, I mean, it's been great to get to know you. Um, you've done a wonderful job here in Toronto. We're really going to miss you. Oh, thank you very much. And don't worry, you guys can't get rid of me that easily. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be I'll be hounding you every time the Lions win and, you yeah. know, when, when I kick your butt at Scrabble. And, and Gord, just to say hi because I love you. That'd be nice. <laughs> you All right, Jody.